Spielkasten consists of seven fun games which involve matching words with pictures. In the four games on the left you choose the vocabulary to be practiced and you can play against the computer with a choice of three skill levels or two children can play together on the same computer. In the other three games the computer chooses words at random from any of the topics. Schnipschnap is a computer version of the card game Snap. The computer displays a word and a picture, both of which change alternately. If the word matches the picture, you have to press your chosen key before your opponent. So if we enter names, we'll have zwei Spieler, uh, James and Tracy. And because they have to press a key, they choose which key they want to have. Next we have to choose a topic. You can see there are 78 sets of words and pictures covering all aspects of daily life and instructions are also given for you to create your own sets. If you put the mouse over any of these words you can see it brings up a translation so pupils can see what the topics are. Let's have Gebäude. Before you start the game you can see what the words are in that set. Die Kirche, das Stadion, das Schloss, die Brücke, das Krankenhaus, die Schule, das Rathaus, das Schwimmbad, die Bibliothek. So we're ready to start the game. James has his finger on key J and Tracy on key T. They start with 25 points each and the object of the game is to win all 50. Das Schwimmbad, das Schloss, das Rathaus, das Stadion, das Schloss, das Rathaus, das Krankenhaus, die Bibliothek, das Schloss, die Brücke, die Bibliothek, die Kirche, das Stadion, das Schloss, Das Schwimmbad, die Kirche, das Schloss, das Schwimmbad, die Schule. Sometimes it happens die quickly. Sometimes it takes a long time. Die Schule, das Schloss, das Krankenhaus, die Brücke, die Kirche, die Kirche. Eventually we had a match there and Tracy was the person to press the key first. Let's see if it happens quicker next time. Das Rathaus. Das Ra yes. It's purely at random, so sometimes it happens quickly, sometimes it doesn't, but they hear the words so often that they can't help but get them into their heads. Das Stadion. Stop there. There are options here. You can have the voice with the words only, or with the pictures only, or with both. You can make the changes happen faster or slower. If you're playing against the computer, you have three difficulty levels. Going on to tic-tac-toe, which is noughts and crosses, basically. You have to get three squares in a row in any direction. You choose a square by clicking the word, not the picture. So James begins. Um, let's have the swim Das Schwimmbad. Das Krankenhaus. Die Schule. So Tracy has to go for Die Bibliothek. At which point James goes for that. Das Schloss. Now he can't lose. Das Rathaus. Die Kirche. The sound effects can be switched off. Gedächtnisspiel. The old uh, memory game matching pairs or uh, Pelmanism. Let's have some different words. Uh, what should we have? Um, Geschäfte. Let's see what the words are. Die Metzgerei. Der Juwelierladen. Die Bäckerei. Die Blumenhandlung. Die Apotheke. 
Der Kiosk. Das Fischgeschäft. Das Reisebüro. Die Konditorei. So the nine words and nine pictures are concealed in these 18 boxes. Tracy can look at any two of them. Das Reisebüro. Die Blumenhandlung. Translates there with the label bad luck. Das Fischgeschäft. Das Fischgeschäft. Oh. Lucky. And so it continues until all the squares have been won. The fourth game is a little more difficult because pupils have to enter the words from the keyboard here and spell them correctly. It's a guessing stroke memory game. Let's have different words again. How about uh, post? Ein Apfel. Eine Orange. Eine Banane. Ein Pfirsich. Eine Pflaume. Trauben. Eine Ananas. Kirschen. Eine Birne. There's your list of words there. What's happened is the computer has randomized the order of the words. That, not that sequence, but it has a sequence which is going to show the pictures and you have to guess which one's coming next. It will go through the sequence until all the words have been guessed. So if you can remember the order they come in, that is helpful. And the first one has doesn't say ein or eine, so it's going to be either Trauben or Kirschen. Kirschen. Wrong one. Mm. Eine. Eine Pflaume. So we have to remember Kirschen, uh, Pflaume, Ein, uh, Apfel. Ein Pfirsich. Mm. Eine Orange. To remember that sequence. Uh, Eine Banane. It must be Birna this time. Eine Ananas. Oh no, maybe not. Right, this must be Trauben. Trauben. And Trauben will not appear next time we go through the sequence. Eine Birne. I know the wrong beard now. You'd probably prefer your pupils to stick to these games so that you, you can choose the vocabulary for them to practice. However, they will see these across here and that sounds interesting, millionaire, and want to try them out. In my experience, this shouldn't be discouraged because they'll learn from their guesses or from their mistakes. It can throw up anything at all from the 78 topics some of them are quite demanding, less common words. Salz. Ein Teller. Eine Gabel. Pfeffer. Eine Gabel. Ein Fernglas. Ein Zelt. Ein Koffer. Ein Rucksack. Okay, I think that might be ein Zelt. That could be a guess. Ein Zelt. But we've guessed correctly. Schnee. Kalt. Wolken. Nebelig. We know what kalt means. We know what Schnee means. It's going to be one of these two. Wolken. Okay, an incorrect guess. Mm. But we perhaps remember next time Vulcan clouds. Second one, Galgen. It's Hangman. You can learn the alphabet from this game. A, B, C, D. And when you start the game, we're told it's from the topic Das Büro, one of the uh, more difficult ones, perhaps. Now, this is going to be either der, d, das, or ein. Let's try an e. e. Looks like ein then. E. N. Now we start guessing. A. 
O L C K H R Ein Locher Yes, that would be one of the more difficult ones. Let's see if we get something a little easier. Zahlen 1 bis 9. Das ist... N -E. N E U A Oh, right. C H T A And again, the last one is the more difficult one where we have to enter the words and spell them correctly. It's a jigsaw puzzle. We're given two parts of the puzzle and we're told that it's from a set called verbs. And if we can guess what it is from those two points, we're going two pieces, we're going to get ten points. We'll lose one point for every extra piece. If you've no idea, press the enter key. Geben. It. Fantastic. What does this say? You got it in three. Krankheit. Looks to me like a wheelchair. Do we know what the wheelchair is in German? A chair is a stool. Um, Well, it's not the correct answer because I haven't used all the letters, but it's left these letters in, which tells me that is correct. Ein Rollstuhl. Again, one of the more difficult ones. Spielkasten is for the PC only, and it comes on a CD-ROM. It doesn't require any installation. It runs straight from the disk, so you can take it from one computer to another, or from one room to another. If you want to use it on more than one computer, then you'll need a site license, and then you can put it on the school's network. The disc itself costs £24.99, and the disc with the site license is £124.99. UK schools are welcome to have any of our titles for a free 15-day trial. <laughs>